again, if the wording needs to be amended, I would support that decision as long as it didn't change the intent of the ordinance to protect the safety of our citizens. But rescinding the ordinance is not the answer. Fellow council members, last week we made a decision that we felt was right to protect the innocent. It still is. I believe we need to stand behind our actions and do everything that we can to ensure the safety of the city of Oxford. Thank you. Yeah. On this ordinance, I say please consider the earlier comments regarding the recommendation from our attorney. I ask, what would you do if your attorney recommends you to take an action? This matter is not over, but we need to seek further counsel and guidance as stated. We do not want us to have a stronger ordinance to better meet the challenges that, that might be presented. I'm already hearing from those that want to vote, hearing that those who vote for recall will not be reelected. Is that the Christian attitude to have? The issue when we passed the ordinance last week and it's a safety issue today. Absolutely nothing has changed. One of our greatest responsibilities as a city council is to promote and provide for the public safety of our citizens and visitors to this city. Our citizens have a right, a fundamental right to a safe city, to be able to shop and use restroom facilities without concerns or fears. And over the past week, I've heard from those who are concerned about the rights of the 0.3% of the population that identify themselves as transgender. And I certainly respect that. But my question has to be, what about the rights of the 99.7% of the population that do not identify themselves as transgender? Do they still have rights? Do they not still have the fundamental right to a safe environment? 